Uh oh. Uh oh. Christian. Hurry, son. Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, as promised in the last video, we've made our way back out to the Texas City Dyke for some night fishing. Now, um, sadly, as I was on the way out here, I just uploaded yesterday's video and we were getting comments and some reports saying that, oh man, the morning bite is way better uh, right now. You know, uh, guys were saying that they were catching them in the morning time. Of course, that's our luck coming out. Um, it's just the way our day was set up, kind of night fish last night, woke up late, came out the night fish again. But regardless of all of that, I've already said that I'm down to uh, spend the night in the truck. Not the night, but take a little nap maybe if the fishing's not great here and just wee hours of the morning, wake up and hit the rocks as that sun comes up. Who knows, might be something we do if my dad's down. Um, but if not, we're just gonna make the best of this super high winds with that cold front So if y'all hear that in the background uh, My apologies nothing we can do about it though. So let's go ahead. Just got this light set up. Let it start calling in some fish and uh, The goal is to catch a sand trout and cast them out there on a big weight for a bull red or a shark So stay tuned let's see if we get into uh, anything crazy Yep It's a nice size one. Yeah. All right, boys, we have got our first sand trout of the night. I got hooked up on one earlier, but we missed that hook set. Little guys are real finicky tonight. Last night, the tide was moving real nice, so we had a nice, nice bite. But on this very night, the tide is actually just dead, 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 dead. Might even take a picture or a screenshot and show you what it looks like just to give you an idea. But this right here is our first sand trout, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my weight ready up, readied up, and we're gonna launch this guy out there and uh, have him just down there on one of those little, I don't even know what those weight, what are those weights called? Crab weight? Spider weight? Spider weight? Something like that, I knew it was something. And uh, yeah, just let that guy sit and wait for a big fish to come and get him, hopefully, fingers crossed. You have to bend these out like this. Yeah. Kind of a rookie at this y'all. I literally never surf fish, never throw live bait like this. So uh, if we get on something, it'll be pretty cool. Beginner's luck. I don't know, is that right? I probably should have did some research, watched a YouTube video on how to set this up. Yeah, that's good. That'll do, that'll do. If it keeps coming undone, then you just, you know, do it a little bit more. All right, you guys, well, left unattended this guy decided to uh, swallow that hook completely so good news is he's probably gonna die from that and not be swimming around down there on our hook getting our bait all jacked up but in the off chance that he doesn't we do have our ekgma spike here this right here is our sand trout he's been out of the water for a little while now but uh he's still kind of thumping around so i just want to make sure a i mean let's put this guy out of his misery so we're not giving him a ton of grief, but also B, I really don't want him swimming around down there getting my weight all unlodged and stuff. Good Lord almighty that wind. Let yeah. me go ahead and brain spike him. So he, uh, you know, it's the right thing to do. And there we go. And you can see his little tweaky tail there. He is done, 100% done good to go on the hook and be our bait for the night she also here's our hook I'm just gonna go right through his back he's a big old freaking sand trout get it nice and good through there actually I want to make sure he's on there so. okay nice and on the back like that that is a big piece of bait what do you think that's maybe eight inches nine inch trout nice bait there all right boys so we got her casted out there uh pretty poor job i'm gonna be honest i was really worried that that rod was gonna break there's a ton of weight so how many ever ounces that dang uh sand trout is and then the four ounce spider weight felt like it was about to freaking bust my rod when i was letting it rip dang, but 
yeah maybe i'll throw this corky but anyways we got her rigged up here in the good old trusty truck kayak rack the drag is nice and loose so if anything comes and picks it up it's not gonna freaking bend my rod all out of whack and that circle hook should do its thing and snagging a guy so uh we did cast right in the middle of the light which is kind of <laughs> stupid but it is what it is man i don't feel like recasting right now so now we just uh sling i'm probably gonna throw this corky my pop said he saw some speckled trout out there just see what we can get on remember it's a circle though, yeah so. just raise for tension go ahead and well i gotta set my drag first yeah set it set it set your drag Think anything. Oh, you should have said it better than that. Oh shoot. Wow. Something was getting a hold of him down there. Nice. Dang, y'all. Well, you look at the way they did them though. That's almost like a dang little bait wow. thieves were down there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we catch another sand trout, trout now. <laughs> throw him to feed the crabs and then mm -hmm. get another sand trout. Oh man, that's kind of exciting. Yeah. I can see the allure. I can see why you guys come out here. I was a non believer. All right, dude, that's kind of exciting seeing this sand trout all destroyed like that. Maybe I'm a sick individual, but man, that kind of got me pumped up for one split second. Cool. All right, Joe. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and cast this corky. Believe it or not, these little sand trout are so damn crazy that they have been coming and hitting this big old thing. Like literally, they're about an inch to two inches bigger than the lure, the bait that they're going after themselves. Kind of psycho, but whatever because it's working all right they don't seem to be wanting this and I do want to get a piece of bait I do want to get a piece of bait out there on the big hook and the setup that we got for the live bait or cut bait whatever you want to call it so put this away and I'm gonna grab my little assassin shrimp over there which is pretty much the number one go-to money lure for sand trout. Cannot resist this little thing. Honestly, better than live bait if you're fishing a light like this. Just bring them in left and right and left and right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Wow, I'm actually surprised that they did not bite that. Yeah, okay. What are these casts, man? This wind has got me acting up. Let's get an actual cast real quick. Put it right out there in the middle. Yeah, all right, there's no way we don't catch a fish on this cast impossible oh man missed him he hit it there we go nice little piece of bait right there nice little piece of bait right there y'all let's go get him rigged up So on the trout, pretty much all these trout are the same, speckled trout, sand trout. Just wanna get right behind these eyes right there. Drive straight down. You'll watch here in a second, he'll start tweaking. Oh shoot, did we miss? 
Oh, I may have missed them. I'm sorry, bud. Wow, I usually don't miss these guys. I feel a little bad for this one. There we go. That was 100% the money shot on the brain. Limp. Limp as could be. Sorry that I missed you that first try. Always feel a little bad, but there's only one way to learn. So, you gotta give it your best shot. This guy is gonna not be moving around on our hook now. I'll go ahead and get him rigged up and cast it out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Christian. Hurry, son. Falling asleep in the truck, y'all. I don't have shoes on right now. Can you bring me my slides from the bed? Should I tighten or loosen the drag? All right, y'all. I'm just gonna get to one of these rocks. All right. Ah. Okay, y'all, so I was literally in my truck trying to get some shut-eye because uh, I wanted to stay out and fish in the morning, like right when that sun comes up, and all of a sudden I just hear this. <sighs> well, this is what I was hoping for. Now I just gotta get them in. He is right there. Let's try and bring him over. Yeah. Nice. Let's try and get them over to this rock right here. Oh my gosh, let's go you guys. Freaking bull red. crazy right now I'm tired I literally just woke up out of a nap from that truck we got a bull red let's get a look at this guy oh my god y'all look at this guy freaking beast let me grab my pliers yeah I figure with the circle hook I mean I heard him just oh look at yeah that. perfect I literally I heard him going and I was like, oh my gosh, like I thought I was dreaming for a second. Holy crap, y'all. Gotta get a picture with this guy. My phone's dead. It was on like 4% when we got out here. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, guys. This is what we wanted to do, boys. This is all I wanted to do. I told y'all I was gonna get a good fish for y'all. Hold the board for you. Jeez, he's a behemoth guys that's a 41 incher 41 inch freaking bull red y'all right, oh. yeah all right hold on hold on thumbnail oh yeah oh, Oh my gosh, big old fella's confused. You wanna come home with us, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm watching him. Awesome, you guys. What a freaking catch, dude. He's going, he's just dang. 
I think that those waves keep pushing them. Yeah, I'll watch them. Oh my gosh, y'all, what a freaking catch. Whew. That right there, boys. That's all I wanted to do was come out here, catch a nice fish in the Texas City freaking dike, baby. That, I'm literally, I'm not joking. I jumped out of the freaking truck right there. No shoes on, I took my shoes off. I put up all my rods except for the one with my sand trout on it. And as I'm like falling asleep in that truck, just laying down uncomfortable as I'll get out, I just hear the drag rip. I jumped straight up out of my seat, through my phone, through my hat, jumped right on the rocks, there's broken glass, there's hooks, I didn't care, dude. Honestly, like I thought it was probably gonna be a shark, I always expect the worst. And we got the freaking bull red. 44, what was it, 44 or 41? I didn't even see that. I don't even care, man. 44, 41 inches, doesn't matter to me. That's all I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's all I wanted to do. So this is a rod that's not out yet by Old 18. I'm not sponsored by those guys, but they're always hooking up my dad and he hooks me up with some of their stuff. So I was uh, questioning the rod, honestly. It felt like it was gonna bust when I was casting my stuff out there, but man. <laughs> oh dude, that was, what an awesome, what an awesome catch. I don't even know what to say. All right, fellas, and that is gonna do it for today's video. Man, I just got done editing that footage and I'm still just so happy, like seriously so excited. I thought it was gonna take much, much longer to finish up my business there at the Texas City Dyke. I told myself, I committed myself to a goal that I was gonna catch a good fish at the Texas City Dyke. I swore to it and I did it, man. I'm so, so happy. Honestly, you know, on the worst night, the most scuffed night, like seriously, I had so many reasons or excuses that came up that I could have just been like, ah, forget this, you know, 20 mile per hour winds. My GoPro, I left my SD card at home, so I was splitting the SD card in my dad's hat. Shout out to my dad. Thank goodness he was there, or else I wouldn't have been able to bring y'all this video. Um, just so many things, you know, we honestly weren't even gonna go, but something, something inside of us just was like, why not? Why not just go out and just give it our best shot? And man, was God favoring me that night. Um, sent that red fish to come and bite, dude. Just an amazing feeling. Also, I checked I checked that rod from Old 18. I believe it's gonna be called the, something with a T. I honestly don't know. They might change it. It's a prototype, but it is rated for uh, four to six ounces. So uh, we really pushed the limits on that bad boy, but I have so much faith in those Old 18 rods. I've had moments in other videos where my rod is literally bent over like a crescent under that kayak and uh, you know, it stood up. It stood up to the test. It stood up to the bull red. An amazing time. Also, I just want to mention, I'm not sponsored by those guys. So, it's just real recognizes real. They're really good rods. Go check them out. And, uh, yeah, I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say. So, I'll go ahead and end the video. You guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.